Hey guys, it's the Solar Clock here today, and so this monster analysis video, I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not you should get Princess Ball out of her current mini maze. So let's go and get right into it. All right, so Princess Ball is an attacker, and her traits are going to be hardened, blind immunity, and area light weakness, and her relics are sword and mask. So her traits are okay. Her rank three is actually really great, but her rank one is really bad. So yeah, if you're going to use this monster, try to get her to rank three. And sword and mask are really good relics. So now let's go on down to the pros and cons. So her pros are great relics, amazing damage output, which can be boosted with damage boosts and light weakness. She also has access to blind and sunburn. She has access to self torture removal and shields and great power. So yeah, all those things are really great for an attacker. And then her cons are a bland trait besides status caster no positive effect removal which can be a problem but hopefully you will have a support for that and also no trait disable which doesn't really matter at all and then horrible life so yeah hopefully you can get a support with per and then besides that the other three aren't really that big of a problem because hopefully you can get a tank to block for her so her life won't matter and then the no trait disable really doesn't matter i don't know why she needs trait disable but yeah her trait is kind of bad so that's the only con that really matters that much and then if we go on down to her moves she has a single target sunburn blind with 70 light damage which does quite a bit of damage and that is of course even without the weakness so this move can do a ton of damage and then she also has an aoe 35 earth damage with light weakness and a blind which is really good she also has an aoe 40 light damage with a sunburn and then you can pick between these three moves the first one does self double damage with torture removal and a 30 percent shield which is a really good move and then she also has a light weakness with zero cooldown and then and an aoe at 35 earth damage with a bleed but i would definitely go with the first one the double damage and torture removal so yeah overall her moves are really great she has some really really good moves and she will be able to do a ton of damage this is definitely an attacker that you want to get just because of how much damage she can do so yeah go and try to get her out of the mini maze it will be pretty easy to get at least a few cells of her you might not be able to get the full monster but at least try to get some cells and then you can get her when she comes back in another mini maze so yeah that's me for this video and let me know in the comments what you guys think of princess ball and i'll see you in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye